What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, and this is an app that I haven't used or reviewed in some time, but it is called Square Home Launcher. It aims to mimic the Windows Phone experience for your Android home screen, but with the iOS 14 updates of recent, um, from earlier this week, I thought I'd give it another look and review, um, especially since the app has gotten a lot of updates and a lot of the look and feel that you get. Um is very reminiscent of the iOS or iOS's new look and feel and especially since I heard that the look and feel is very reminiscent of uh, Windows Phone as well so and it kind of and what I heard people saying is that it rem it's very reminiscent of um, merging Android's widget interface along with the Windows phone tile system so with that well let's jump right into it by building this layout that you see from scratch um, as you can see i have set up or i've cleared out the two screens that i showed you before or that you saw in the preview video swiping up and down only or left to right only brings um or doesn't do anything swiping up does nothing swiping down only shows my notification drawer so once you've installed the app, um, and actually before I do that, I'll preface that I'm using the pro version of Square Home Launcher. So um, if you do use only the free version, some of the extra customization options like the colors and things like that are only available for a short trial. And then from there, um, you get limitations. But for the most part, most of what you'll see is available in the free version. Um, the first thing I recommend doing once you get through the initial setup process of doing things like setting your home screen columns, which I have set to four, um, and setting your app drawer listing to um, alphabetize by name rather than the smart order, um, is to set that up and then uh, leave it at that. If you want more of the smart ordering system, basically ordering your app icons based on how much you use them, then that's also an option. But um, I basically leave it to stuff uh, to how I want to see it, but having the four columns makes it the best way to um, have more um, screen real estate. So from here, we're gonna, I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my app drawer page so I have that for reference. So we're gonna hit pinch in and we're gonna click on new page and you can do layout, app drawer, or contacts. So I'm gonna set the app drawer page. So when you swipe over, you can get your applications. Um, when you first install the app, you will get a grid of icons where with certain preset defaults like um, having the a calendar widget and a, your a photo gallery widget and things like that. So the first thing I do is I end up, I just delete that page and create a new one from blank so that I can set up my home screen how I want it. You can of course um, edit the icons one by one to adjust them, but that's a little bit of a longer process. So once you have the blank page set up, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I want some um, handy widgets for myself. So when you hit the plus sign and hit widget, um, Square Home Launcher ha does have some widgets built in. So I'm gonna, for example, I want the date and the current um, or upcoming event setup. So that shows up there. And then of course we always want, or for me, I at least want a weather widget. So you can use your device's built in one. But I use today weather, so I'm going to set up the today weather for um, what it feels like. And then you can set your customization options. That is, of course, optional and doesn't affect uh, Square Home Launcher. So um, that's an update for me. And then when you long press on the tile, you can resize your tiles so that um, you can um, have them set according to how you want them to look. So I want my calendar widget to be a little bit bigger because so that there's more um, space for um, events, but I may want the weather, weather widget to be a little bit smaller because it doesn't need as much space. Um, and then from here, I re for me, I prefer going one by one and setting up any widgets that I want. And then from there setting app shortcuts. So I'm going to add the rest of my um, weather widgets just so that just because I prefer to have them all at the top. So I'm going to speed through this a little bit and um, have those set up. Um, as far as the colors that you see, I'm going to get into that when I get into the settings because there are a few settings, op setting options that you can go through to customize how your home screen looks. So um, once I'm done with that, we'll get into setting 
the some app shortcuts and then I may not do all of them but I will provide a couple for example and then that way we can go directly into um, the settings so um, from here this is the bulk of so these are the basically all the widgets I want the one thing that square home launcher does not do it much like oh iOS 14 is allow overlapping widgets so you do kind of have to um, bulk them together um, I believe you can um, do a tile group but that's more for apps than widgets so you don't kind of get that one widget to have to loop through a bunch of different um, app or a bunch of different widgets but you can create a separate page if you want just for widgets if that is an option you prefer um, so from here now that we have some widgets um, I don't know that you can still um, set up or add icons to your uh, main screen from your app drawer so what you'll do is you'll click on the plus C plus button and you'll create shortcuts to whatever apps you want to have on your main screen and you do get options like that one in Gmail so if an application has app shortcuts then you can set them up from here so um, that's basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set the apps that I um, prefer to have um, on my home screen so um, these are the um, bulk, uh, bulk of the ones that I want um, I'll also set shortcuts to some of my media widgets so anytime you long so whatever options that you get by default in Google to uh, long press an on an icon and access that apps functions are available in the same way in Square Home Launcher. So, um, and actually that's not the icon I wanted for Pocket Cast. So I'll go back and set it up. And as you can see, what I like I did there, if you don't add an icon that you don't want, you can long press on it and hit the trash can. You can hit the settings icon to set various other uh, label options, launch options, long press options, and things like that. So once you've done that, so now I have some icons. I like the way it looks. Now, if you want to set some, let's say you want to set your wallpaper, you can pinch in, you'll click on menu, and you can set your system wallpaper from here. You'll get the Square Home Launcher uh, picker, or you can set it from Nova Launcher or your photos and set whatever um, wallpaper you want. And then you can also set a, um, a blurring option if you want to blur your wallpaper or if you like a wallpaper but you want it grayscaled you can do that as well so I'm gonna leave the one I have for now just because I like it and let's take a look at some of the options so when you go into the menu and you go to home options um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you can set and um, adjust so I'll go over some of the major ones that are the best, most favored ones to use so if you want to set your screen orientation you can set up to portrait landscape or same as system I keep it as portrait because that's just how I set it up um, if you want a 3d effect for scrolling you can do that um, it enable or disable your system wallpaper um, you can set a background color have your notification drawer and things like that for your live tiles, so Square Home Launcher does allow you to see your notifications on your home screen. So for when you first enable it, it'll give you the option to give Square Home Launcher that access. So you turn it on, you'll be able to toggle your notifications, use your notification icon, um, set up um, animations. Um, if you want a media playback control for your media shortcuts, you can do that. Unread emails and things like that, can, uh, notification account on your tile so that's also an option you can set uh, tile size and style so for the most part I leave that the same but you can also set the tile effect like shadow and rounded tile versus squared you can set a background effect for blurred transparent grayscale refraction or just disabled I don't have it turned on because if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen you can have your tiles automatically um, figure out the color based on your wallpaper so when you touch color palette and then from wallpaper it square home will automatically import colors based on your wallpaper and set the tile to that and then you can also enable colors from wallpaper to um, extract it extract the colors from the wallpaper and set it automatically but it does not work with live wallpapers um, if you want to 
get colors from your app co icon color, you can do that, but it's not consistent, so I've turned it off, but it provides a little bit of variety if you want to set it. In the icon style, you can set your um, icon pack, so if you have one installed, you can do that. I have Squircle X because I like that one, but you can keep it at default or install more. Um, you can normalize the icon size so they're all the same size, or if you just want to set a custom icon shape um, based on what's pre-installed, you can do that. And then reshape legacy icons, so older icons that may not work, be compatible will also be um, updated. And then of course, if you have the Google app on your home screen, you can have that animated as well so that you get a little bit more animations there. Um, with your app door, if you set it to smart and you want to change it to alphabetical, you can do that in sort order or user defined so you can adjust it accordingly after the initial setup as well. Or you can do a list type so it's just A to Z in a listing kind of like what we saw on the old Zune and Zune HDs or more Windows Phone style. Um, you can set a sort order in folders so if you want a user defined or by name you can do that. Um, if you want to search index when you scroll so you can search by app letter or name, you can do that. Um, that's really there, all there is for there. If you want to set a tile style, you can um, do that as well. Um, if you want access to your contacts or how to display that, you have that option there. Um, if you want to set gestures like what to do with your home button, menu, search key, double tap, triple tap, and all of that, you have that option. Um, pinching it, what pinching in does, um, and various other settings from here. So, a lot of them I don't have set up just because the app drawer is set to swipe. I have a Google search widget on my home screen, so I can do, launch a quick search there. Um, so, but you do have that option. And if you want to back up la your layout, then you can um, do that as well if you're switching devices or if you just want to have that in case you need to do a reset or have that as backup. So, that's really all there is for the bulk of this review. Um, I'll I'm gonna set a uh, and there's play um, an audio for Pocket Cast just so you can take a look at what the animation looks like on the tile and it's similar for apps based on their purpose. So when you hit so. So when you hit play and um, it. Uh, because I'm recording, it takes focus there, but you'll see that the app icon automatically adjusts to the cover art. You get the text information and you get playback control. So the similar thing with uh, play music. It's been inconsistent with Audible and YouTube, so no big loss for me. But it's nice to if it, and so it might just be my device, but and or maybe a feature incoming. But um, overall, a pretty good functionality to have. So you don't have to swipe down and play or pause. You can just do that from the icon and you get a nice little animation to go with it. So that's really the bulk of that. So as you can see, the colors of my weather tiles are matching with my wallpaper and along the, and same with all my other icons. And then you get a notification count for Gmail and it animates when a new email is pending. Same thing for most other icons. So if you wanna get that iOS 14 slash Windows phone look on your Android device, Square Home Launcher is the way to go. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01, website's PatelN01.com for subscription links, past episodes, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.